Hello internet friends, this video is going to be about grinding Trader XP in Star Wars Galaxy's Legends. Now I've already done a video on crafting in general, so if you want to know about that, follow the link that I'm going to put up here and in the description of the video for an overview of crafting. But let's assume you know the basics of the trader profession. How do you actually gain the XP? The first thing you need to do is to start crafting some items and figure out which gives you the best XP. There's a little bit of trial and error here depending on what class you are but i am pretty sure that the complexity of an item which is listed with the item in the crafting tool doesn't have an effect on the amount of xp you get i know for a fact that the appearance belt which has a complexity of 15 for the domestics trader does gives more xp than the metal band which has a complexity of 19 so complexity doesn't seem to affect it if i had to guess i think it's to do with the amount of materials that you use rather than the complexity or perhaps the variety of materials that might explain why there is one big truth to grinding traders in star wars galaxies legends and that is the structures trader goes up levels a lot faster than anything else by a long way and you get a free profession respec in this game so really you need to start as a structures trader and then switch to the ultimate profession you want to be once you've leveled up that is the quickest way the downside is that the structures trader needs a ton of resources which if you don't have them means money right so you have to decide do you want to grind as a domestics trader may be making clothing and stuff for small amounts of xp you've got a lot of time but no money or do you want to do it fast in which case you start as a structures trader and you you spend money buying those resources it's up to you once you've made that decision however you're going to find a nice place to sit with your resources and crafting tools in your inventory and you're going to start crafting the quickest way to craft in this game is with a macro and i'm going to explain what macros are and the macro that i'm using in a moment for this to work, you need a number of crafting tools in your hotbar. You can craft those yourself. I believe uh, all traders can craft the basic crafting tools and quality doesn't matter because we're grinding. So what is a macro? A macro is a list of commands that execute automatically one after another and we create it as an ability. So open up your command browser and go to macro. Then down here, this one I created earlier. Let's edit it. You can see what's inside. I've called this crafting. Pick any symbol you like. And here is the list of commands don't worry about remembering any of this because we're just going to copy and paste there is a notepad in the game and i do have a video about that the notepad is the way that you get text into the game so you really need to know how to do that a link to my video about it in the description i'll also paste this text in the description for you so you can actually copy it into your star wars galaxies notepad and have it in the game but for right now i'm just going to select all this and then use our key for copy if you don't have that bound go into your key binds and bind it uh, but once you've got that text copied you can create any new macro let's call this crafting 2 just for demonstration purposes pick any symbol and then paste all that code back in so we're just copying and pasting nothing to worry about the only thing you would have to change here is this last command which is macro crafting here it refers to my original macro because this macro i've just created is called crafting 2 i would have to change that to command to slash macro crafting 2 because this is the thing that tells the macro to start again and it needs the right name of the macro that you're using but going back to my original macro i'm going to talk through what these commands are actually doing because it's a bit hard to wrap your head around otherwise so this first command in the sequence ui action toolbar slot 00, zero refers to this hotbar slot here which has the crafting station in that is telling it to open that crafting station this will all happen automatically the next command is a pause for half a second which i put in so the macro doesn't start to trip over itself sometimes i find it does that but then the next command is select draft schematic and the number of the schematic we'll come back to this it can be a bit hard to find the number of the schematic in this case this refers to an appearance belt i'm going to be using then we have a pause for seven seconds now uh, once we go to the draft schematic this is where we add our resources so we have seven seconds to do that before the macro will automatically move on the next three commands are just to move through the crafting stages so that would be assemble and then next and then create prototype item and now the next two commands just tell it to create the prototype item in practice mode 
this is what you would be doing if it weren't doing it automatically. So as you can see, it's creating that item and that's, that's like doing it manually, isn't it? What happens at the end of that sequence is there's another pause for a second and then we go to UI action toolbox tool slot zero one. And that refers to this next uh, crafting tool here. And exactly the same thing happens again. We go through that sequence for that crafting tool. Then the next string tells it to go to the next crafting tool and the next one and the next one until we get right to the bottom of this string of commands. And then the final command is macro crafting or whatever you've named it. And this tells the macro to cycle around and start again. The reason we're doing this is so that we give our crafting tools time to create the item. So for instance, we can't use one crafting tool because there's a countdown, isn't it? It takes time to create each item. So we need a number of crafting tools. And by the time we get to the fifth, the first one is finished and we come back to the first. And obviously the number of crafting tools you need and the timing of the macro will be different for you depending on what items you're crafting and what cra kind of crafter you are. So you will have to finesse it a little bit. Hope that makes sense. And now I'm going to show you it's working. I've put the macro crafting thing there. So I'm just going to execute it in a moment. Watch the countdown numbers here as we go through. You'll see it working. Okay, so let's go. Macro crafting. Add our resources. We've got seven seconds to do it. And then it will automatically move on through to the next stage. If you look down at the bottom there, the first one is now crafting and we are creating this item in the second crafting tool. Now you can refine this so that it goes a little bit faster. We don't need seven seconds to create, to put the resources in for an appearance belt. So you can kind of tinker. Uh, you might like to take out a couple of the pauses if you feel like they're not needed, but um, this works and it's pretty reliable. We're on the fifth. That was the fifth crafting tool. Now we're back to the beginning. And we have just enough time with these five crafting tools uh, to cycle around without them kind of overlapping each other. And that's how you do it. You just sit here doing this for as long as it takes to grind up. Obviously, I'm de demonstrating with Domestics Trader here, but instead of Appearance Belt, if you were doing structures, you'd be creating a harvester or you'd be creating one of the more complex machinery items that give a good dollop of XP. And you'd be using a lot more resources than I'm using here. Just a couple of things to note. There is this command down here, which is called dump. And this is just the command for stopping the macro, basically. And it's very, very simple. Just create it as an ability again. It's forward slash dump. And that stops the macro running. The thing that will probably trip you up is this here. Select draft schematic 129. You need to know the number of the draft schematic that you want to work on. And that's a little bit hard to find. It's not actually in the crafting tool. You have to go into your data pad and then go to draft schematics right at the end here. Don't change the view or sort these items in any other way. It has to be this default way. And to find the items, basically the first one here is not number one, it's number zero. So long sleeve shirt is one, appearance vest is two, mangy vest is three, four. But now you see the par one cake is not counted because I'm using a clothing and armor crafting tool. So we would skip that and go straight to metal bikini. So you would think metal bikini is number six. It's actually number five because we skipped that par one cake. And as you're skipping items, depending on the crafting tool throughout here, the number kind of gets hard to find, but you can count up as long as you know what items are included in the crafting tool and find the number that way. There is no easy way to do it. I'm afraid you have to count up and use a little bit of brainage. Okay, so that is grinding crafting. It's the overall principle using that macro, figuring out what item gives the best XP and then sitting down and repeatedly doing it. It can take a, it can take some time. Even if you're doing structures, it can take a while and you kind of, you do need to be at the keyboard because you need to add the resources, don't you? But you can be listening to things in the background, maybe watching a stream on, if you happen to have two monitors, you're lucky like that. I hope this video helped you. I realize it's a complicated topic. If you have any questions, do leave them down below. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.